ocean is really important to the young people here on Christmas Island. This is a classroom for our students. Um, we also teach them about the marine environment, the coral. We teach them about biodiversity. I'll shake it, that's it. It's where they de-stress after exams. School and everything else makes me feel like there's always a lot going on. And so coming down to the ocean, it's like a different view and a different space to be in and just kind of let go of all those worries. I think like growing up around an island, it just gives me like, you know, a connection with nature. So sitting um, in front of the ocean on the sand and like just listening to just the small waves and even like the wind around you just really distresses me. They'll go fishing, they will go kayaking as well. Believe it or not, it's very gentle and flat now, but there is a wave uh, when the swell's up here. So a lot of the kids love surfing here as well. So they'll use it in lots of different ways. Snorkeling as well. Yeah, squidding at night time, fishing at night time as well. A lot of them have been using it since they were little kids and it's also a place that they go with their families as well. So, and then at the right time of year, it's obviously used for, you know, to spot whale sharks or to go swimming with mantas. I am blessed. It's five minutes away from my house. I'm from a landlocked country, so I don't get the ocean or anything like this, so I've learned a lot. Uh, fishing helps us by escaping exams because it's just clears your mind, don't have to worry about maths or English or science or anything, just the water. Just a way to escape everything else. The end of the jetty is like a playground for them as well. They play, you know, chasey off there and they learn to jump off the end of the jetty and that is like a bit of a, a ritual of becoming a young person here on Christmas Island to jump off the jetty. I've seen over the years students that are really pushing themselves academically in a remote location at a small school and I've seen them go into the ocean here at the cove in their school uniform and you, you can just see that stress melting away from them. It's mesmerising seeing them, you know, use the ocean, but also just like floating in their school uniform off the side of the jetty. Like, it, it was really amazing to see actually, and you couldn't wipe the smile off your face when you saw that. I think my favourite part of the ocean is being in the water. It's like a different kind of sensation and yeah, it just, it makes me feel alive. There's nothing more important than them understanding how significant our ocean is and the health of our ocean. They are like custodians for our future and Something that we've been doing for a long time is the marine debris audits, which is basically going to our beaches and collecting the rubbish that washes up. They see the impact of the marine debris on Greta Beach particularly. Uh, it's one of the only really sandy beaches where the turtles come back and lay their eggs. And at this last marine debris audit, we had a turtle hatch up through the rubbish but a lot of the time they just can't hatch and the turtles can't lay when they come up because there's just too much rubbish on there. I think it just is something that is ingrained in them. They just, they have grown up with it like it is their, just their local park or it's just a real part. It's an island treasure, the ocean, but it's just a real part of um, their childhood. Oh, 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 oh. 
I think the marine park is pretty important for the island because it, it would like give us protection. The fashion about saving it, don't want anything to happen to it. It's so unique because it's so genetically diverse. Like you don't get that anywhere else in the world. There's so many species here that are only one of a kind on the side, like the red crabs and the abbot's booby that only breed here. I want our future generations to be able to like play around and have like the same experiences I had. I do feel really privileged to be here. It's just a really special place to me and to a whole lot of other people as well.